Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about drinking more water. I know you'll be like, Becca, you're always talking about drinking water. It is so important. I created a video specifically for you guys to help you learn simple and easy ways to drink more water. Now, there's a lot of science that goes behind all this. So stick with me and I'm going to share with you 12 simple ways to drink more water. So first of all, it is highly regarded to drink eight cups of water a day. There is no science behind that number. In fact, the National Academy of Medicine suggests that men drink 125 ounces of water and women drink 90 ounces of water. I don't think that there's a lot of science behind that either. Think about it. Some women are four foot nine, some are six foot three, some are very active, some not, some have a lot of extra body fat, some not. There, that, there's no science behind that either. But what there is some commonality is, and before I even go into that, um, drinking too much water can throw off your electrolytes. So we want to make sure that we are drinking water with minerals inside of it. And I'm going to drop a link for you in here as well. So uh, a common idea is to first set a goal. So first thing is set a goal. Um, and we're going to make it specific. So say you weigh 150 pounds, you're going to want to drink at least half your body weight in ounces per day. Now, if you work out with a 17 minute workout, add another 15 to 20 ounces for that. And if you drink coffee, as many ounces of coffee that you drink, double that that number. Now I probably got a lot of you on that one. So I'm going to say this, I weigh somewhere between 130, 135 pounds. Um, I drink about 90 to a hundred ounces of water a day. I noticed when I do that, I have less edema that's swelling on my legs, water retention, believe it or not, if you drink water, you release water. Uh, so you'll have less fluff, uh, you'll be able to um, reduce the inflammation and the toxic load of your body by drinking more water. Um, they, another great idea is to have like a reusable cup or bottle of water. So here is a stainless steel. This one actually has a copper lining to it. I like that that because it keeps it super cold. So stainless steel is better for you. There's BHT free, uh, BPA free, sorry, plastics. Um, you want to make sure that you're drinking something that doesn't leach the toxins into it. Um, another thing that you, you can do is set reminders. So for me, if I'm going to drink this is about 33 ounces, I think. Um, I know it's 33 ounces. So if I want to drink 90 ounces, then I'm going to shoot for three of these per day. So I try to get the first one in uh, before 11 o'clock. So somewhere between 9.30 to 11 o'clock, I will drink my first one. I will finish my second one by two o'clock and I will finish my third one by three o'clock. Now, Sometimes I drink four or five of these, depending on what my workload is, or if I'm doing a lot of things outside in sunny South Florida, you know, there's, you, lo you lose a lot of hydration, even in pools. So if you're one of my swimmers, you lose water while you're in water. So be mindful about that. So you want to set a reminder. The next thing is, is to re actually replace your water um, with, or replace your drinks with water. So for that, um, if you're drinking any type of uh, added sugars or juices or coffees, again, um, you want to replace that with water. The next one is drink one glass before meals. Now, we want to try not to drink with meals. We want to try to drink before the meals. That doesn't mean don't drink while you're eating, but don't drink a lot while you're eating. And you will see that you also eat less, especially if your portions are too high or you, you have an, an unsatiated meal, meal, meal times going. Uh, drinking water at 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after helps make you feel fuller longer and gets you hydrated. Um, filtered water is, is best. There's a lot of different filters out there. 
Uh, we'll be talking about that a little bit more down the road, but you don't want to drink tap water and watch those bottled water. So many of them, and they're expensive, are not even as good as your tap water. Another thing that you could do to drink more water is to flavor it. I love putting lemon and lime. You've heard of that first thing in the morning. Always have your lemon in the morning. Um, it definitely helps with uh, hydration, but it also helps with pH balancing. And if it tastes good, you drink more. I have a dark cherry juice uh, concentrate that I put in maybe like a half a teaspoon into this big uh, uh, cup of water. And that is absolutely delicious. It is so, so yummy and helps it to go down a lot faster. I'll also put real fruit in there. So I'll put uh, chunks of watermelon or strawberries. I'll put apples and cinnamon in there and kind of like shake it up. It tastes super good. And then you get to have the treat of your fruit when you're done. Um, before you work out, you definitely want to hydrate. So hydrate before you work out. If you're a big runner or you're going to do something really high energy like that or bouncing on the trampoline, I don't really recommend, especially us women in our 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond, drinking a bunch of water before we jump. But you get the idea that you want to make sure that you are hydrated. Sip throughout the day. I know a lot of us get so busy that we forget. Make sure you bring your water to your workstation. Make sure you're bringing your water in the car. A lot of people, you know, they just travel around, they, they get busy and they forget to drink their water because their water is not handy. I'll even walk around the very few occasions that I go to the mall. I bring my water with me. I don't go a half hour without drinking any water. At least I try not to. There's anomalies, but I try not to. Um, you can also get water by eating foods that are high concentrated in water, such as lettuce, celery, zucchini, cabbage, the watermelon, cantaloupes, all those honeydews and whatnot. They have a higher density of water. So that's super great. And if you drink one glass of water when you first wake up, that helps. Now, it's suggested that we drink water before we go to bed, right before we go to bed. I don't, I don't think that's a good idea, especially if you're one of my women who wakes up during the night to go to the bathroom. You should be able to sleep through the night without getting up and going to the bathroom. And if you find that you're waking up during the night to go to the bathroom, I might suggest that you stop drinking at least three hours before you go to sleep. And then right before you go to sleep, maybe sip like two ounces to three ounces of water. I hope this is helpful for you. Oh, one more tip. Use a straw. Straws make you drink like 30% more water. So if you're having a hard time drinking water, employ some of these tactics and grab a straw. All right, you guys, create your best day ever. And I will see you in our next live. Ciao.